TSH and level thyroxine management. First log in to Waiting Room Solutions. Upon login, you are queued to review assigned tasks. When test results are returned electronically or through fax, they are automatically assigned for review. When test results are electronically returned or returned through fax, they can be viewed and acted upon within the order tracking system. This is a system to manage pending tests that have been ordered, review tests that have been completed, message with patients on results, and take further appropriate action. Here I can see the completed tests that have been returned. I can filter by individual tests like TSH. A bidirectional laboratory connection has been established so I can order tests directly from the system and receive test results electronically back into the system. Based upon the result, I can take further action, close a test, or contact a patient to inform them of the results. Test results and an associated message can be sent to the patient through a HIPAA secure patient portal. This saves communication time with back and forth phone calls. Test results can also be tasked to other persons in the practice for follow up actions. Now I'll assign this test to my nurse to make a follow up appointment. The Waiting Room Solutions system tracks all tests from order to completion. When a completed test is reviewed, you can enter comments in the order history. For each patient, you can also see all lab results in a tabular or list view, including both fax results and electronically received results. Now let's look at charting the encounter when a patient first comes in for a review of the TSH. We have a standard TSH and levothyroxine check template. Based upon the fields available in the template, the medical assistant will typically fill out the details prior to the physician entering the room. The review of systems can be charted including the pertinent details such as patient's energy level. When a system is normal, clicking the Normal button fills in your default terms. Now I'll review the current medications and send in the prescription. The patient is slightly hypothyroid on 0.15 mg of levothyroxine, so I'm going to bring her back down to 0.137 mg which was previously prescribed. The patient's preferred pharmacy has already been entered by the patient through the patient portal, so sending the prescription electronically is just a matter of clicking the send button. I'll enter the diagnosis followed by my plan. I'm going to add a diagnosis of post-surgical hypothyroidism.
When this is added, there is already a default plan that has been set up in the system. I'll just correct the TSH dosing. Now I'll enter the follow-up order for the TSA. I can either print the order as a requisition, or if I'm connected to a reference lab, the order will be electronically received by their system. Surface coding compliance can be checked with the ENM coding tool. This completes the note, so now I'll sign it. Do the note we just created. The pertinent history is displayed, as is the pertinent review of systems and prescribed medications. Physical exam findings are highlighted, as is the plan. Follow-up TSH has been ordered and the note has been signed. The TSH then enters the queue for follow-up. 